boys and girls, it is day three of our trip to Amsterdam for TwitchCon. Although, actually, I think we're probably done with TwitchCon. If you're here for TwitchCon stuff, you perhaps want to watch last Tuesday's video when we spent most of the video around about in the convention itself. But today, this is our last full day in the city, and we haven't had a full day in the city. We came in on Friday lunchtime and had the afternoon. We spent most of yesterday in the convention. We leave mid-afternoon tomorrow, so I figured... We need a full day. That being said, it is quarter past one, we've slept in. Still catching up on all the sleep from having to get up at stupid o'clock in the morning the other day. And also, we've done a lot of walking around and a lot of exercise since we've been here. So we we needed the rest. We need, especially Anna, who is a little bit broken, aren't you? Anna's, Anna's back, knee, all these things that she's been suffering with more and more in the last few months. Two days of walking, she really is struggling. So I'm dragging her out first thing because she's, first thing, it's quarter past one. I'm dragging her out first thing because we need to find some breakfast. She has to eat. Uh, but it might be that later on in the video, I'm dropping Anna back here and seeing what I can do on my own. But on the agenda today, we have the Rubber Duck Museum. We have the Copa Football Shop. We have the Johan Cruyff Arena. Hopefully Fibo for some vending machine food. Hopefully some proper Dutch chips. Some kind of breakfast along the way. There's lots of fun to be had. Let's go, fun, it's fun time. Well, change of plan, Anna got about three steps down the corridor and just couldn't, her back and her knee are wrecked. So she's had a little something to eat at the hotel. I'm leaving her there and I'm gonna head out and do all the stuff that I was gonna do that didn't really interest her anyway. So like, I'm gonna try and get over to the football ground try and get to the football shop. We've got to save the rubber duck shop and stuff like that for tomorrow. they fun to do with Anna. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out and do Kevin things. I've got a day to myself. I could, I guess, go over to the convention. I think there's, I think I saw that yesterday, so I might go and have a rummage around Amsterdam. Apparently there are toy shops and comic shops and hobby shops and various things like that. I'm not sure if I'll find any of them. I'm just gonna wander around see what I see. It is important to note as well, my knee, that it was pretty much better. Feels absolutely wrecked again this morning after two days of walking constantly. So I'm afraid the little bit of camera shake caused by the limping is back today. center and goodness me is it a warm day out here I am aware that as I'm recording this there's a heat wave going on in the UK and it's this was recorded that weekend when it was like 38 degrees in England and it's only 25 here feels warm enough I'm glad I'm here and not at home not just for that reason there's many reasons including the trams there you go we have a tram right I'm heading up this way because this is the way we came last night when I wasn't filming. Me and Anna didn't come up here the night before and there just seemed to be a lot more places potentially to grab some food. I still haven't eaten. It is nearly two o'clock. This is the second day in a row. It's got through till about two o'clock before I've had anything to eat. This needs to not be an ongoing habit. I know some of you would have been wondering and desperately concerned that you didn't get all the information last week. So that building there, the grasshopper. That's where we had dinner last night, out on the canal. And it was lovely. I think breakfast, because I'm afraid, I'm just gonna head into the supermarket and see what I can find in there. I'm so hungry. I haven't had a proper cup of coffee. I had an espresso on Friday evening. That's nearly a day and a half since I've had a coffee. I hope supermarkets sell coffee here. I'm usually very in favor of finding somewhere local to eat and sampling a local delicacy, but sometimes you're just so hungry. You find a supermarket that has a sausage roll and a cinnamon swirl. You get very sad when you see their coffee machine is broken, but then happy again when you see they have iced coffee. And that will do for breakfast at two o'clock in the afternoon. This is not okay. Right, I feel a bit more human having eaten that, although what I thought was a sausage roll was actually like a hot dog sausage wrapped in pastry with curry sauce in there. That is a proper game changer. Are we gonna try and cross the street? This seems like a bad idea. I think we've made it across. I don't really have a plan for the day now. My main plan was to get breakfast to see what happens. So I guess we're now in the see what happens phase of that. Time to explore some more, I guess. This was definitely on the agenda for today. Finally get to go inside after 
two evenings of longingly looking through the window. Bet you didn't expect to see a Stoke City bag in here. To get a Brentford one to go with my Ivan Tony boot. Well, there was nothing in there that would fit me, but a very cool shop, nonetheless. Exploration continues. You didn't think I was going to come all the way to Amsterdam and not wander along next to the canal, did you? Or, alternative version of history, the rubber duck shop is just over there, according to Google Maps. Well, I want rubber ducks. <laughs> I made it all the way over here and they're closed but it looks so awesome in there so I guess I find somewhere to sit and have a coffee 50 minutes it looks like plenty of options I've got to wait I've come all this way you have to wait so many ducks Batman for me, Groot for Anna, seems reasonable. Would have got more if you are one of my offspring watching this, wondering why I didn't get you a call duck. Got to put stuff in my suitcase to get back on the train, or else I would have bought lots of ducks. You know what I'm like, but yeah, they're quite... Ducks take up a lot of room and a lot of care. The more I wander around streets just getting aimlessly lost, but still feeling like I'm in the hubbub with lots of people around, and, just shops and stuff. The further lost I get, the more I realise I've barely scratched the surface on this city so far. Four days hasn't been long enough. No sooner have I said I'm on back streets than I end up on what is comfortably the busiest city centre style, style street I've been on so far. I assume ahead of me we have Dam Square that I've somehow managed to avoid since being here. But before I even get there, I've got lunch options. Two places I was told to check out on my streams before I came, right next to each other. Fibo and Mannequin Piss, the chip shop. I want both. Shall I get both? I might get both. Well, I made my decision. We've gone for Fibo. I have one of these. Where's the light? One of these, I don't even really know what this is. I was told to try a croquette. This looks like a croquette to me. My thing is messed up. Two euros 50 out of the vending machine. Couldn't show you the process because it's just me and I only have so many hands to film. Hopefully we'll get to come back and I can show you the selection and the process with Anna, but. It's like, it's like it's full of a really thick chicken soup. It's like the bitter ballon that we have on Friday with the beefy stew inside. Just tastes like a chicken version. These things are great. I can't believe we don't have them in the UK. That's the one I had. It's actually looking at the instructions now. It looks like I had veal, which I've never had before. Tastes like chicken. Could have thought. I would definitely be going back there before we are done in this country. And now we have what I assume is Dam Square. The big palace thing behind us is a bit of a giveaway. Trams encircling it, old buildings all around. If we didn't already know it from the past couple of days, I think it's fair to assume Andy would quite like this city. Just that angle there, the tram going past the church. He could just, and down there you've got Burger King and McDonald's plus Fibo where I just was. There's bells ringing now, as if to really hammer home the point. We were toying with the idea of bringing him back to Bruges this summer, where we went a few years ago, so he loved it there. I'm actually wondering if we need a, a late summer trip here with him. I think we can all picture him now on this square, having just had a McDonald's, listening to that, whilst waiting for the next tram to go past. I think he'll enjoy that. The other day on Twitter I described this city as a clean black pool with better weather and drugs. I've even got Punch and Judy. I love this place. Anna's had a very narrow escape because if she'd have been with me I definitely would have dragged her into Madden Two Swords. I love it in there. Uh, not so much, but I don't think I can go in on my own. I don't think I love it that much. I want to go in there and make lots of silly jokes while Anna walks around to make her giggle. It's not as fun on my own. There is a tram there, probably shouldn't cross. I am gonna get hit by something before this trip is done. If not one of these, one of the bikes. They may as well have written my name above the door. Let's go and investigate in here. So much Pokemon stuff and superhero stuff. And how exactly do you propose I don't go in the Lego store? Come on now. And this is a pretty cool Lego store. Yeah. 
Next up, Ajax Fan Shop. Nice little football themed souvenir then. New Ajax home shirt, very nice. But the opposite a cheese shop as well. I would quite like to go over and see the stadium, but looking at Google Maps, it's like five kilometers from here, which feels like a lot of faffing about when I am pretty hot and sweaty and could probably start heading back towards the hotel. I think I've done all of the bits that Anna really, really didn't want to do. I could probably save the stadium for another day. Maybe. Right, decision made. I'm gonna go and check in on Anna. But first, I need to stock up on some supplies for Anna and potentially supplies for me in case she really isn't feeling up to even going out for dinner later. Hopefully, after a day of rest, she'll be feeling better and able to uh, get herself vertical again. Many hours later and Anna is alive and mobile. It's half past six and I'm gonna get her out of here for the first time today. It's Sunday. I'm not sure what time Amsterdam in general shuts down on Sunday. I think shops and stuff are likely to be closed now, but restaurants should still be open because, you know, it's a major city in the middle of summer. It'd be mad for stuff not to be open. So we're gonna head out, find somewhere to have something to eat and then take Anna on an evening long adventure. Ha ha ha. No, we'll actually bring you with us tonight because we're not even going to the red light district, probably. This is the second time this weekend we've seen this book that's also in the lounge of our hotel with shoes that are almost like my shoes. Almost, but not quite. I'll claim they're the same and hope no one notices the very important differences. We're back in these side streets I was wandering through again this morning. I don't even know if it might even be the same one. We're just hoping to randomly come across something that looks like it has Anna's dinner in it. Okay, now I'm really confused because I came to a rubber duck store earlier and it was not this one. We're going in. Well, I'm glad we stumbled across that. That's probably the one I was looking for that I'd see, that Anna had seen on TikTok rather than a weird back street one I walked 15 minutes to get to earlier on. But bottom line, I have a giraffe duck and now I am happy. Back in Dam Square again, second time today. Somehow didn't notice Ripley's Believe It or Not earlier. I think earlier I came in on that side and just kind of walked across which is why I never saw this end of Dam Square. But now we're hoping there'll be a restaurant here that satisfies Anna's palate. The main place she liked to look off so far was a steak place. She had a steak yesterday, unacceptable. We found somewhere to eat in a perfectly positioned on the square so we can listen to the bells, watch the trams. This is where we like to eat when we're in, in other cities. Bells and trams, isn't that right? It's good. That's what I call dinner. We have a burger with bacon and cheese on, some chips, awesome little sauces in jars, spaghetti bolognese over there with some bread. There should be some bitter bala on the way as well. And this just makes me feel like I'm on holiday. And now the bitter bala have turned up with little mustard for dipping. Beautiful stuff. Well, we've been sat here now for, what, two hours nearly? People watching and tram watching. It's been excellent. I've just had my first actual warm cup of coffee for two days as well which i love european coffee i should have been drinking more of this they make it proper here but, uh, Best 16 pound I ever spent. yeah anna's loving her fan and we're just waiting for the sun to go down while we watch trams go past and there's some kind of street performance thing going on over there as well which sounds like yeah it sounds like they keep playing the game of thrones theme song on a flute which is weird well here's one thing we haven't really done since we've been here souvenir shopping not that we have any room in our luggage for any souvenirs but you know we can squash something up good and small and squeeze it in maybe wooden tulips we fit some wooden tulips in or a uh, rubber same thing rubber magnets might be nearly 9 p.m but now we've eaten and uh, stocked up on coffee for the first time of the weekend We've got energy to go for hours. Anna is suddenly interested in every shop window. Do you want some uh, candy? Chris, you'll probably have to bleep out the naughty word there so that we don't get demonetized. One day we're gonna have to come back with the car so we can bring a windmill home for Andy. I think he'd like an actual working windmill, but again, just like everything else we're seeing in these shops, we ain't getting it home. We were pretty much fully packed on the way here. favorite spot actually finishing a vlog 
on the day that it started for the first time since we've been here. But unlike with a lot of our trips, with this being the end of the last full day, this isn't the end of the series because we thought ahead. Our Eurostar tomorrow doesn't go home until, th or doesn't leave Amsterdam until three o'clock. It's not actually a Eurostar either. We've got to get a train to Brussels and then the Eurostar from Brussels, but we don't leave Amsterdam tomorrow until three. So we've got a late checkout here for two. So we're going to set an alarm for the morning so we can get out and about back into the city one more time because there's a couple more things I still want to do. I want to get a personalised chocolate bar. Um, I want to take Anna to Fibo and I want to try something from there that's not the veal. And I haven't had anything, I haven't had any of the local chips from any of the local chip places yet. So I need to get some of those in me as well. There's lot, so it all comes back to eating for me, but there's stuff for us to do. And of course that video will be coming up next Tuesday. And then after that, that gives us about a month to figure out what our next trip is gonna be. So we can keep Travel Tuesday rolling because it's been going since May now. We've got to keep this going forever. We're a tra travel channel now, apparently. And uh, we'll see you next week. Toodle pip. Well, some shenanigans are afoot. We've made it as far as Rotterdam. There was no magical connection from here. We think we may have a solution. Yeah.